just a few months ago, I got a phone call uh, from a fellow I knew. He said, hey, I, uh, I got a new job. And I said, oh, congratulations. Where are you working now? He says, well, I'm actually President Nelson's um, um, assistant, executive secretary. And I said, wow, that's a great job. I love your, your boss. And he said, he says, yeah, I, I love him too. Actually, actually, he wants to talk to you. And I, I said, well, okay, when? He says, how about tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock? And so, okay, any hints? And he laughed and he said, no, just come on down. And so I, you know, we hung up, I looked at my wife and, and I, I'm, I'm very intuitive about these things. And I thought about that. Well, I've been serving on the Young Men's General Board for five years. The, the old board, is, I mean, the presidency is being released. President Nelson is such a remarkable human being. Isn't this great? He's going to tell us thank you for, for my five years of service. And, and don't call us. We'll call you, you know, and send me down the road. But what a nice thing for him to do. And so I walked in completely clueless. I'd been in his office with my wife for about 15 seconds. And he pulled a chair up and he was just sitting knee to knee with me. And he said, uh, he said, well, Steve, we brought you up here actually to call you to be the young men's general president. My brain just kind of turned off just then because I had, I just had no, that's how spiritually attuned I am. I, had, I didn't see that, that coming at all. I, I guess I stammered a little bit and he said, well, will you take the job? And I said, well, of course, President Nelson, but with fear and trembling, and he kind of sat back in his chair a little disgusted. And he said, well, I, I hope with a little joy too. And I said, well, I'm sure the joy will come when the shock wears off. And he said, well, it's important that you're, uh, that you're here. And it's important that you understand this because this is a very important time for the church. Uh, you know, we're in the end of times here. And this is a very important time for the youth of the church. And then he stood up and he walked behind his chair and he says, you know, I've called them, I've invited them to serve in the Lord's battalions. And I said, yes, President Nelson, I know that you have, and, and I know that they're listening. And he said, well, well, I hope so. I know that many are, because this is such an important time of gathering. And, and the opportunity for them to be engaged in that work of gathering has never been like this before. And then he went on for about 10 minutes without taking a breath. Uh, you know, 95 year old President Nelson and just his whole visage just lighted up with enthusiasm. He talked to me about this final work of the gathering and, uh, and his deployment of the youth of the church to make that happen. This thing that has been talked about by apostles and prophets for uh, as long as there have been people on this earth looking forward to the end game when the earth will be rolled up like a scroll and, uh, and, and the uh, savior will come again. And uh, I walked out of that room just with this intense understanding and knowledge uh, confirmed to me by the spirit that I share with you. And that is that he's coming. He, he really is and it's imminent. I don't know what that means. All I know is that there's a sense of urgency about the brother. 